Hi boys and girls, so today we're going to be moving away from um, addition and subtraction and we're going to start focusing on tallying time. So time, we're going to be using our analog clocks and our digital clocks and it's going to be a little more uh, clear whenever we start our lesson today. So we're first going to watch a quick video about time and then I'm going to show you guys how to do at least one or two problems from our worksheet today, which is 9.6 page P69. Okay, so go. let's go ahead and watch the video first. where viewers and callers phone in and give us their problems and we figure out the answers. Now I believe on line two, we have Park Ranger Joey. Park Ranger Joey, do you hear me? Loud and clear, Professor Berger. All right, Park Ranger Joey, what is your problem? Well, the owls here in the park, they don't seem to know how to tell time. <laughs> Keep it down, fellas. See what I mean, Professor? Uh, who ever heard of a night owl flying around during the day? Why don't you come back into the studio and we'll figure out how to teach the owls how to tell time. That would be great. <laughs> I love it when Joey comes into the studio live, don't you? Uh, and there he hi is. Hi there. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, well, here's the question. The question is, which time is not the same, and let's circle the wrong time. Okay. So let's take a look at these two clocks. Now, these two clocks are only showing the hour hand. Mm -hmm. So just the hour hand. And when we look at these times, this is actually read as three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. And here, it's actually spelled out three o'clock. Okay. So here are two ways of describing the time three o'clock. Right. So now, to be three o'clock, the hour hand has to be pointing to the number... Three, right? Exactly, Joey. You know how to tell time, and the owls don't. <laughs> so well, that's true. Now, let's take a look and see on the clocks, which one do we see the hour hand pointing to the three? So here, I see the hour hand pointing, actually, to the nine. Yeah, that's nine is not three. That's no, right. No, it is not. This would be nine o'clock, not three o'clock. But mm -hmm. look at this one. This one, in fact, the hour hand is pointing exactly at three. So so, so that one must be three o'clock. Exactly. And so I'm going to circle the one that's not the right time, that's not the same. Right, And right. that is going to be this <laughs> one. And so we see the answer is the clock where the hour hand is pointing to nine is not the same as three o'clock. We have solved the riddle and know how to tell time looking at the hour hand. Ah, well, that is great. Maybe we could go and uh, teach the owls how to tell time so they'll start acting normal again. I think that's a great idea. Let's go get you a ranger hat. Absolutely. It'll be a fun time for all. Have fun with math. We'll see you soon. Alrighty, boys and girls. So now we have our worksheet. So as in the video, it said that the small hand points to the hour. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name on the top. So the hour hand is the small hand. Okay. The bigger hand is the one that tells the minutes, but we're not going to be looking at the minute hand today. We're just going to be looking at the hour hand. Okay. So if I look here and the hour hand is pointing at the two, that means it's going to be two o'clock. And the way we write that is we put a two, and then we put two semicolons. Semicolons are what kind of splits up the hour and the minutes. And there is, it's two o'clock means it's a zero and a zero, okay? So that is how you write time. So you're looking at the hour hand today, okay? and you are going to be writing your time in, making sure you're completing the front side and you are also completing the back side. All right, boys and girls, if you have any questions with this, please let me know. I'll see you next time.